Hey everybody, this is Tracy from Tracy's Art and Craft and today we are here to play with our jelly plate. Um, I've made an absolute mess as you can see, I'm trying to clean up a little bit as I go but it's not working. Um, <laughs> so I'm really excited, I'm so excited to do this, I haven't done this for years and years and years so I've had a couple of goes with it, I'm terrible and <laughs> I'm awful but just like anyone who's beginning it's Although I used to do it, it's like being a beginner again because it has been so many years that I have um, not done this for. So it's getting used to how much paint you need on there um, because you need very little. If you have too much, it crimples up your paper and can rip your paper as well and if and it doesn't come out so nice. And if you have too little, um, not all of the colour comes out or sometimes you may end up with a white background and things. So... I'm going to try again with layering up. You can put it onto the jelly plate, print out and then do another one and print out again and do it sort of each layer separately. But I like to layer up. Um, so what I'm going to do is in between, you have to let each layer dry and it can take a little while. So I'm going to pause every time I need to let it dry so that you're not just sitting there watching paint dry with me because, yeah, that's that's pretty boring. That's the worst part of this. Um, which is why people like to just sort of put it on and then print it, put the next layer on, print it again like that. So to start off with, um, the gel plate that I have, the brand, do I have the packaging nearby? I don't, I'm afraid. Um, I've just put it back on the shelf. So this one's called Gel Press and you can find it on Amazon in the, in the UK. Um, but you can get one that's called from Jelly Arts. It's called a Jelly Plate. There's lots of different ones. You can make your own. Um, I don't know how to. I've never done that before. I do believe that's got to be kept in the fridge, though, if you um, make your own. But they can last quite a long time if you keep them in the fridge. So, yeah, I don't know how to do that. I, I've never even bothered trying. Um, yeah, so first of all, what I've done here is I have put my Jelly Plate onto a piece of paper this is so that I can try to line it up straight but saying that I haven't even lined it up straight on the paper I'm having trouble getting it so that there's a nice border because if I'm doing it as a digital for my members and I want it to be somewhat straight I think that would have to do so I'm trying um, some of the attempts that I've done aren't too bad um, not quite what I would like, but this is probably the best one that's turned out. Um, oh, I really like that one. That was with some feathers and things. and I was just using this paper to lift off some of the paint, but it came out actually really nice. And this one, um, the white background is actually a pearl paint, so it's really pearly in real life. It looks really nice. This is a fail. I ripped it. I put too much paint on, so this one feels really horrible as well. So I'll use this for collage, you see. Oh, this one turned out really super nice. I really like that one. That one was nice. Um, this one was messy, but again, I'll use it for collage. So none of it will go to waste. So yeah, they're the ones that I've made. Also, when you're cleaning off your brayer and things, you end up making these type of papers that you can also just end up printing on as well. So I'm kind of collecting my brayer cleaning papers. Sorry, hit the camera. So let's get some paint on here then. So the first layer that I'm going to do, I've got a bunch of stencils with me. And the first layer is always the layer you're going to see. This is going to have the most accents on it. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the... I want my dot one this one this is what I want so this is the one where it's going to be the accents that you're going to see the most um you always want to start from darkest color and go up to lightest that way um if you use your lightest color first your darker colors will show through and will overpower that light color so I always find darkest colors um first are good however if you want to tone down sometimes lighter colors first and then the dark colour on top actually looks really nice so you can do that however you want I am going to start off with using a stencil you don't have to use stencils there's so much you can use I have used this to draw into the paint 
Um, this is just one of those little scoring things with the ball on, but you could use like pencil top or anything like that. Um, I have used um, stamps. Um, you can also use bubble wrap and things like that. I might get some in a bit and we'll do that too. So first of all, I'm just going to pop the stamp on in certain areas. I'm just going to add the smallest amount of paint. You don't need a lot. Now, if you're worried about putting too much paint on, you can put the paint on a um, glass plate or something to the side. Put it onto your brayer and then put it on. But I'm not too worried. So if you want to even, you need to sort of um, roll and lift, roll and lift, roll and lift. Like this. When I went backwards and forwards, I was just spreading the paint over a larger area. And then you lift up and you've got some dots. There we go. So I'm going to do some this way. Probably got a bit much on there. If you've got a bit much on there, you can always take it off onto the paper. Oop, let me move that stencil out the way. There we go. So again, I've got a bit much. So what you do is you move it off the sprayer and then that helps you to remove a bit. There we go. And you want just really, really thin pieces. I can put a little bit down here. Make sure you clean your stencils off when you're finished as well because this acrylic ink can be a pain. There we go. A little bit more over here, I think. The tiniest bit. There we go, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry and I will be right back. Hey guys, so that's all dry now. So I'm just going to take this stencil here and I'm going to place it down in odd areas and I'm going to go in with some of this lovely green. This, metallic, this is a metallic green. And that is what the colour is called as well, metallic green. Oh, I fixed my microphone, by the way, guys. Um, turns out it had like an extension cord that I was using on it. So it turns out that the extension cord was broken. So it wasn't working correctly. So I just took the extension cord off and now the microphone's working just fine. So yeah, this doesn't take very long to dry in between. Um, it's very quick. See, I didn't want that on there, so you just wipe that off. If you don't want it on there, it just wipes off. Oops, I've put too much on. So again, when you've put too much on, you can just um, clean it off on a, to a piece of paper and then the brayer will pick up some of the paint. There we go. Do I want any more? I think I do want some in the middle because the middle's gone a bit bare.
clean off my fryer again and I will just let that dry and I'll be back again one second hey guys we're back I've just turned the light on because it's getting really dark in here the sun's gone in um so the next layer I'm going to do two colors on the next layer two different styles um two different designs so I'm going to use purple and pink I think for the next two uh, these don't have a color on them I just found them cheap somewhere because you can use any acrylic paint you know there's nothing you can even use um alcohol inks and things like that um the reason I got these was just because they were pastel colors I quite like the colors I thought they looked pretty so you know they, they don't have a color on them they're not proper professional paints or anything like that I'm just going to pop a few little blobs down here and there to where I might like some and brayer it in um it's not the most opaque color so You know, whatever colour you're going to put behind this will show through because, like I say, it's not the most opaque paint. But that's okay, we're going to build it up. So what I'm going to do on that one is, I've got some bubble wrap that I went and picked up. I'm just going to put my bubble wrap down and gently press on it. There we go, and pull that up. You can't see it right now, but that will show through. And then I'm just going to get my pink and pop that down in a few places. I'm not very concerned, really, if I um, go over the purple or anything like that. If it mixes, it'll be fine. You just want to make sure you haven't got colours that all turn out a bit muddy. get my bubble wrap in again and just pop that on so yeah you do have to be patient because you've got like that drying happen in between each one but if I was doing this you know printing it each time I'll show you one I'll do it and I'll show you one it's hard to explain and I think I'm making a mess of explaining it so again I'm just going to let this one dry and we'll go on with our next layer, which I think will be this green. And then after that, we're going to go in with this buff titanium, which is a nice sort of yellowy cream. So we'll go in with this green afterwards and just go over the whole thing. We'll let that dry and then I'll go in with the buff titanium and then we'll pull it because you need a... Um, you need to let each layer dry but on the very last layer you need to pull it with wet paint so it's always good to use a cream or a white to place over it and then you can pull all the layers together it's very clever i'll show you the rest of it soon um some of you probably already do all of this um gel printer so you know exactly what i'm talking about but there may be some people out there that um this is the first time they've ever seen it and so you know i'm trying my best to explain it but I'm making a real mess of things just recently especially when it comes to um speech so there we are it's getting there see it doesn't take too long to dry um I'm trying to show you sort of in real time how long it takes to dry there are some places just sort of here I can see they're still wet because um acrylic paint has a tendency to go sort of dull as it's drying on the on the gel plate so this form of printing is called mono printing um, you can use you can do mono printing with many things glass and um, plastics but usually when you use glass and plastics you need some sort of press and um, so the gel plate means you don't need a press all you need is the gel um, which is quite handy when you haven't got a lot of space 
if I was, you know, saying to somebody who was just starting out and have never done it before, I would say buy one of the really small gel plates. Um, you can get them in all different sizes. You can get circles, squares, rectangles, um, hexagons. And when you buy these really small ones, um, they're not so daunting to do a design on because they're very small. You only got to fill a small area. Plus, smaller stencils fit on them better. Um, you know, you, you're only using small patches of paper too. So to get sort of like the first gist of it, I would recommend, um, yeah, getting the small plates. Also, just try to remember less is more. When it comes to gel plates, less paint on the um, gel plate itself does work better. I mean, here you can't hardly see, even by eye, the pink and the purple. Um, when I move it, I can see it. Let me just see if that's dry. No, that's still wet. So I've noticed these paints also, because they're sort of a cheaper brand, they're not as good as proper, you know, sort of a proper paint. They do dry a whole lot slower. A whole lot slower. Oh, I just thought, actually, I might put some gold on here. I might use my little bit of gold here that I've got left. I might pop a few bits of gold on. I love gold. Sorry if you can see my head or anything. I'm sort of leaning over. Sorry about my hair being a mess. I always, I sort of run my hands through my hair a lot when I'm crafting so yeah i'm just gonna go away and let this dry for a sec and i'll be right back so that layer's dry that layer took forever to dry so these paints are yeah a bit diabolical um i think it's because they're so thin or something i don't know but they do make really nice colors because they're so pale, I might lose them when I'm putting on my other colours. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll just make do. So the next colour, I'm just going to pop on some little patches of... Um, I'll probably do that bit towards the lid. Some little patches of gold, if I can. I'm really running low on my gold, so bear with me. Way too much, way too much. So this is the last layer before I pull it because otherwise we're going to be here all day. So yeah. Now we're just waiting for that to dry and then I'm going to pull it because otherwise we'll be here all day. And then we'll do some simple ones together. And um, yeah, then we'll do some simple ones and we'll see how that goes. It's much quicker when you do the simple ones and when you just keep pulling it straight away, it goes a lot quicker. Um, but I, I don't know, I like the surprise. So when you do it this way, you don't quite know how it's going to look until you've pulled it because all your top layers are at the bottom. So you don't ever quite know what it's going to look like until you actually pull the thing. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I just really like the surprise of it. So that is actually almost nearly dry already. See, see the difference between that pink and purple and, like, say, this gold one. Um, this one's already nearly dry. So generally, acrylic dries really quickly. Um, but you are just going to have some paints that just aren't as good as others and things like that. I mean, I've got a real mixture here. I've got some Deco Art, Art Studio. Um, Artista. That one is. We've got some Dela and Rowney. Crawford and Black as well. They're just like really big ones that I get from the works. So these are sort of my play with paints. Um, the actual art paint for art canvases and stuff was really expensive. So 
I don't use that right now because like I say I'm not a business I'm a hobbyist so I get what I can afford you know just like the rest of you guys we can't afford to always you know splash out on these really expensive paints and things so I just get what I can afford and just live with it I think that is pretty much done nope 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 you're still wet that patches anyway oh that's dry so yeah I just got a little patch to go it also don't help my house is quite cold I haven't put the heating on yet it's just laziness I just can't be bothered to go and put the heating on <clears throat> so yeah let's get this last layer on and see how it turns out sorry about my squeaky chair as well I'm sure you can hear it it's just really squeaking so remember less is more so I'm just going to put a couple of dobs on and that will probably do it but we'll see so not quite I need a bit more on there Again, this takes a lot of playing with to get used to how much you need. But once you've got it, you've kind of got it. You kind of know what you're doing. But it takes a little bit of playing with. And like I say, I'm not there yet. So you also don't want to press hard on your brow. I'm not pressing hard at all. I'm letting the brow do all the work. Now you get a piece of paper and pop it on top. Now there's a bit of a trick to this. Okay, so first of all you pop it on top and you rub. Now, um, I can't remember what it's called. Come on, words, come to me. Um, there is a tool you can use for this. What is it called? Someone will know and they'll put it in the in the comments for you guys. I cannot remember what it's called right now. Um, but it's a little round thing that you could hold and do this with. I just use my hands. You will get a small amount of rippling, as you can see here. That's fine if you're getting big creases. Too much paint. Um, and I'm using copy paper. Nothing special, just copy paper. Um, just, you know any old general standard copy paper I think this one is 80 GSM or GMS or whatever so you want to rub it but then here's the trick the best thing to do to make sure you're getting all your layers up evenly is to wait be patient let it dry a little bit let it dry into the paper a little bit um, you don't want to let it dry so much that you're ripping the paper or anything like that like I've done in the previous ones um, but just let it dry a little bit. You can keep rubbing as well. I found it doesn't really matter how much pressure you put on. Um, if you put a lot on, you know, you might just end up tearing the paper. So I just rub it just sort of generally. And the way you can find out if it's ready to pull is to pull slightly. Um, just pull, lift up. If you're leaving too much behind, I'm leaving quite a lot of the green behind and you're not happy with that, just pop it back down. Wait a little longer. Give it a little minute to re-stick. Give it another rub. And just give it just a little bit longer. And like I say, this, this does take quite a while if you're doing it this way. If you've done a really simple one, it doesn't take long at all. I don't mind waiting for something like this because I enjoy the outcome. I do mind waiting for some other things and I can be quite impatient in some ways. Oh, 
Let's have a little look. Let's just pull it and see what we get. So as you can see, I'm leaving some on the plate. It's not too bad because it's coming off really, really nice. We cannot see much of that pink and purple there. I might have to do that a little bit thicker. But that's a nice one. That will work lovely. So I'll put that aside. I'm not keen on these paints here, so I probably won't use those. We'll put them aside for a minute. I have got other paints next to me if I want to use them. I'm going to leave this on just to see if it will pull again. And I'm going to go in with a nice dark colour. And then we're just going to um, do one, one pull a time. You know, we, we won't do layers this time. We'll lay out on the paper. So these deco art ones are things, they're quite a watery um, paint. Just proving you can use any thick, any texture of paint. Um, you can use watery ones. You can use um, thicker ones, things like that. I'm getting you a piece of paper to clean my brayer on. So on that one I'm going to get my bubble wrap again. And I'm going to place my bubble wrap down. My belly's rumbling again today. I'm not hungry, I've eaten, but... I think it's because I'm on a diet. So there we go, we get that beautiful pattern. We get a piece of paper and we pull it straight away. Ooh. Sit down. So like I say, because we're not waiting for anything to dry, it's a lot quicker. It also pulls a lot easier. And this is a good way for people that are a little bit more impatient and don't want to make those layers and wait for them to dry in between. So obviously I'm going to be pulling up some of the pattern that I'd left on. And I left that on just to see how it would look. But yeah, I quite like that one. So I'm just going to go in with a lighter pink this time. It's like a dusty what is this color it just says pink but it's like a dusty rose and it's metallic there we go here it comes put quite a lot on there oh we get rid of that hard bit of paint there There we go, clean the dryer again. So this time I think I'm going to put some random lines in there. Just using my little pokey tool. really going completely random there we go clean it off a little bit and we're going to try to put it back on top where we had it last time so I always line up the bottom first and that usually helps me to get it roughly right doesn't matter if it's not exact but these papers they'll be good for collage It'd be good for in journals as well. Of course, you can definitely put them in journals. You could use them on card bases, you know, to decorate up birthday cards, things like that. Just like you would any normal scrapbook paper you could use them for. So I sometimes like adding a little gesso to them to tone them down as well. So if you want to tone them down, you can add a little <clears throat> a little gesso. So let's pull that one.
there we go and then behind that I'm going to try some patches of the green and see what happens because hey there everyone sorry um you just got completely cut off because I wasn't watching the time again yeah I know I'm annoying I guess I, I'm annoying myself this is how that last one turned out in the end and you missed all <laughs> so we're gonna go again we're gonna go again we're gonna do another one and this time I'm gonna try not to mess up wish me luck so when you're doing it this way remember whatever you put down is gonna be in the background whatever you put on next will be coming forward because you're layering up on the paper now not layering up on the plate if that makes any sense to you guys at all so I think I'm going to go for some metallic this time. I'm going to go for metallic brown. This is like a very coppery colour. Oops. Oh, look at the mess I just made there. I'll pop it up here and I'll clean that in a moment. So, let's get the bayer. get this and um, spread out again I'm going to cover all of it again no pressure of the brayer let the brayer do the work you don't need a push don't need a push at all so I'm just going to clean my brayer off a bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in a doily on this one and oh I'm knocking my mic sorry about that and I'm just going to push the doily down gently try not to touch in between the papers too much pull that up I'm just going to do another bit just down here And pull that up. This doily you can then use or obviously when you're using them for your junk journals and things and it's already coloured for you so that's why I like doing that one. So then I'm just going to get my paper, place it on and again I'm really sorry you got cut off again it's got to be annoying you guys. It annoys me, I annoy myself so I feel your pain you know I have to live with me unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, pulling this way is definitely better for time. If you're in a hurry or you don't have much time or you're not very patient maybe, this way is definitely better for time. Um, now you're going to see bits of green and things. I didn't clean my jelly plate. I like to get the random surprise. And that looks really lacy and beautiful. You could leave that one. And I think I probably will leave that one. Just because I really like how lacy that is. So I'm just going to pop that aside and leave that one. See, so even the simplest of prints can sometimes just come out. And you decide, yep, that's it. I'm just going to leave that. So this one's called Sparkling Champagne. This is a really, really weird paint. Um, it's a little bit gunky. And I don't know. Can you see how it's going like stringy? doesn't really want to blob and it's I don't know it's a really weird paint but it does come up really really pretty so this is going to make a really light colour oh sorry I've got an itch the microphone's tickling me um yeah so this makes a really light colour but I am going to definitely put this in the background and I think I'll do that lace one again I'll use a doily again and um get that sort of lacy look to it so I'm just pulling in the same doily again and this time I'm going to come here I 
there we go see so your doily's getting even prettier now building up its own color as well so you, you're sort of making multiple things and so i'm just gonna piece of paper over the top of that Oh, that's absolutely lovely so that's that so far so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pull over one of my other stencils this one that I've been using and as you can see I've been using it well I'm just going to pop, pop it on in certain places and add a little bit of brown I think I'm going to do this one actually burnt sienna get rid of the hard bits of paint so I'm going to do this very very randomly I don't want this to be neat I want it to be little patches of this flourish Oh, there we go. And then we'll just pop that back down as well. Sorry, I'm coming off my desk a bit there. That did just slip that paper, so that might come out a little bit funny. I just sort of slid the paper on rather than putting it flat down. Let's see how that one turns out. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. Um, what else do I want on there? Let's do some. Let's have a look at my stencils a moment and see what I have. I really like this heart. I'm going to do that on another one, I think. Um, oh, I've got some leaves. Let's do some leaves. Let's pop them on and we'll do a darker one on these. Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Should I do a green? Let's see how the brown turns out. I kind of want brownie colours for this one because I want to use it in a certain way. So that's why I'm thinking about using browns. had quite a bit of paint on there so I'm able to put that all over the place um, and spread it a little bit further so then from there I'm going to just clean my brayer again I 
I'm just going to pop this piece down again. And just pull up those leaves. And then I think I'll go in with the cream because that will pull up everything else that's still on the plate. Oh, actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do that for a separate piece of paper. Because I don't want to lose all that champagne colour in the background. There we go. I really like that one. That one's super cute. So I'm just going to pop that aside. I'm not going to clean. I'm going to go straight in with the cream. Because then we'll have some of those brown accents coming through on the next piece. Of course, if you want to clean, they're really easy to clean. You just get a wet wipe and wipe over them. If you use an alcohol paint, hand sanitizer is the best one. I've got a bit of that brown paint stuck on there. Big lump of it. There we go. Yeah, so um, hand sanitizer gets rid of alcohol links and anything that is quite um, really stuck on. piece of paper as you can see I'm making a real mess now so it's going to be fun cleaning this up oh actually I think I'm going to use the bubble wrap again it's one of my favorite things to use bubble wrap um another one is tin foil I do love using tin foil and of course one bit of bubble wrap will last you quite a while you can just keep using it it doesn't matter what paint's on there just keep using it there we go I'm just going to pop that piece of paper down. Let me just move these stencils out of the way. I'm trying to stop myself making a mess, but when I really enjoy myself, I tend to scatter everything and um, work very disorganised. So that's one way you can tell that I'm really having fun. Oh, this looks lovely. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. That's so pretty. What colour should I put with this? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm going to do a bit of the pink. Maybe this one. This one's Dusty Rose. I think I'll do some little patches of this. Let's do a few patches. Let's get the brayer. Brayer that out. Oh, it's spreading really well, so it looks like we're doing the whole piece. <laughs> it's a little bit unexpected, but there we are. I'm surprised this paint's working really well actually because I've had this one for absolutely ages this colour and it just keeps going it doesn't get you know some paints they can go a bit funny after some time but this one's just staying fine what shall I do with this one thinking Pushing down the stencil. What about this stencil? So what we can do is we can take a stencil like this one and we can place it down. Use a little bit of paper, a separate piece like this, and just take some of that paint off. If we do it quite randomly, it will look really nice.
There we go. I'm excited for this one. I don't know, I've got a feeling about this one. Let's see. Ooh, no. This one might not be pulling so well. Might end up with quite a bit on there. Let's have a look, see how it pulls anyway. This one dried a little bit too much. So. That's actually a good thing, I can do a second pull. So that's what we got with that one, which is a little bit random. I quite like that. If you think about how you use them as collage, they'll be really nice. I'm going to do a second pull though, because that dried. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some buff titanium. One of my favorite ones to use as a background, it's got a real nice cream colour. There we go, get another piece of paper. Place it down. And this is just like the layered one where we've got one layer, we we'll put a background layer, and then we're going to pull it. I'm just going to let that dry a little bit and I'm just going to clean my brayer off before that paint sticks too hard to it. Just make sure I didn't leave any bits of paper behind because that got stuck to the paper a little bit. So if you do leave anything behind, like bits of paper, if you just rub over your brayer, all that comes off. And then you've got a clean brayer again. I know it looks dirty, but none of that comes off onto your stuff. Eventually it does build up. When it builds up, you can actually just peel it off. Like I'm doing to the edges where I'm peeling off bits. Um, so when it builds up on the brayer base, you can actually peel that off. So I hope you guys have had fun with me today. Uh, my store is down in the description box as so is my um, my social platforms. Um, also, um, if you'd like to become a member, that's down there too. Um, yeah, I, I hope you just had some fun because today was just about having fun. I mean, I'm nowhere near ready to be good at this yet. But I'm hoping I can get some good papers out so that I can give those as free digitals to my members. And I might put a few for sale in my store. That one is gorgeous. Oh, I love that one. I would use that so much. So obviously when I send these as digitals, you will have this border on there. So you'll only have this sort of usable area unless I can adjust it. I will try, um, but I don't have things like Adobe and things that people use to adjust them on because I don't usually like doing digital art. So they may just be scans of what I've created here. But I'll see what I can do. I will see what I can do. If not, maybe I will cut them down to A5 and scan them and make A5 papers for you. But yeah, I think they're so pretty. I love them so much. 
So I hope you've had fun and I will see you next time. So bye for now. Bye.